Hi, this is Koya in Kyoto. Today, I'm going to report to you the hotel which you see in my back, the Gate Hotel Kyoto Takasegawa by Hyolik. What's surprising about this hotel is that this used to be an elementary school. They renovated it and turned it into a hotel. The low building you see on your right side is the original elementary school building. It has guest rooms. And the one over here is the main building. The old building is called Schoolhouse, while the main building was built recently. As you can see, there is a wide courtyard with artificial grass. You can easily imagine this used to be a schoolyard in the past. So in this sense, I guess this hotel is quite unique and quite luxurious as well. And guess what? Their guest rooms were available for about $80 through the advanced sales campaign by Trip.com, which made me very happy. This area is called Kawaramachi area, along with it is Takase River. Kawaramachi area has many commercial buildings, and it's in a good location. Plus, from what I have checked, their decor must be pretty luxurious. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, I came to a different spot on their property. This is the building which used to be Rissei Elementary School in Kyoto City. Well, they must have renovated it, but it still has some original touch. They have a sign that says the Gate Hotel. But here, they also have a sign that says Kyoto City Rissei Elementary School. It must be the original sign. That's cool. So, this property is a commercial complex that always says Hulik. See, they have blue bottle coffee and some other nice shops. Like the sign says, this is a commercial complex called Risei Garden Hulik Kyoto. So, this is what they are. The school building here is giving us a nice scenery with Takase River streaming along. It creates a beautiful picture with the trees and colored leaves. Very nice ambience. Now I'm entering the building. I see shops and restaurants on both sides. In the back, can you see the sign, the gate hotel? That's the entrance to the hotel. Now, inside the hotel, there's an elevator on the right. I'm taking the elevator up to the reception floor. The hotel lobby is on the 8th floor. Now we're going up there. The 8th floor is the top of this building where we find the reception desk. Isn't it unique? Getting off the elevator, walking to our left, where they have a reception desk. Wow, so spacious. It's quite a luxury. The view from the top of the building is amazing. Even though the glass windows is something. Now, on the other side of the reception desk is the place called Lobby Lounge and Bar. And there is also a restaurant in the back. You can spend the high quality time while looking over the ground view of Higashiyama in Kyoto. Now I got off the elevator. Here is a hallway to each guest room. The white base tone creates a simple yet comforting space. Okay, let's take a look at the rooms. Room number 639, the room on the 6th floor. Let's go in. Insert the car key here and the lights are on. Let's see. This is what it looks like. The room also has a base color of white, with light brown color and this lighting on the wall. Is producing Japanese modern style. It sure fits the character of Kyoto and presents a high quality space. A king size bed is placed in the middle of the room, which looks very nice. By the best side, there is a nice lamp and USB port to plug in. I don't see any regular outlet. This is relatively a new style, big hotel chain, so all you need is to recharge your tablets. Here is an air purifier on the floor, a big TV screen on the wall facing the bed. 
On this side of the room, there is a mini bar and a small table. And oh, how nice! I just love to have a couch by the window. You can sit and relax while looking at the view at the window. Let's see what it looks like. They have a big window from the ceiling down to the floor, which makes you feel being in an open space. You have the grand view of the mountains around Kyoto. I think there is Yasaka Shrine over this area. On the right, over here, that must be Kiyomizu Temple. I can see their red gate. A little above on the left is the roof of stage of Kiyomizu Temple, which is very famous. Kiyomizu Temple stands in the beautiful trees with red and yellow leaves. Such a nice view you got here. Okay, now let's turn to the mini bar. A sanitizing alcohol spray, Neelex tissue, a set of tea, they have Uji green tea, two bottles of mineral water, oh coffee, nice. With an espresso coffee maker, you can enjoy coffee time. Let me open this fridge door down here. And they have glasses and cups in this drawer. The bottom drawer has an ice bucket and kettle. What a small compact dust box. Now let's move on. Here's a closet, I think. A big closet with a safety box. Laundry bags. Slippers. And dressing up items. And an empty drawer for you to put things in. Yes, it's simple, concise, and not wasting space. Here is a mirror which you can use to dress up. Alright, let's check out the bathroom over here. Hey, they've got the sliding door to separate bathroom from the living room space. Now, they have a wash basin. It's brand new and sparkling clean. A square basin looks very nice. The mirror has a modern look with the lights on the sides. The way they say the glasses is kind of stylish. I wonder what kind of amenity good they use. It says Darjeeling tea. Looks expensive. The back of the bottle says Aroma Door. I don't know this manufacturer, but it looks good and smells good. Here are some of the amenity items, like toothbrush, razor, shower cap, cottons, hairband, bath soap, and a comb. It's a nice lineup. Look how simple the switch is. Here's an outlet. And down here, they have towels. And a hair dryer of Panasonic. Okay, this is the bathtub. It's simple, but the details like using a stone here gives a nice, sophisticated touch. Here is a stool. Looks convenient. Two shower heads, a handy one and a big one. The same products of Aromador, the Darjeeling tea. The bathroom is a separate style, so here they have a toilet. A small cute wash basin. So this room looks sophisticated with simple, modern Japanese taste. I'm going to stay overnight in this room, only for $80. Can you believe it? The regular price of this room is relatively economical among all the rooms of this hotel. But the most economical room has this much of quality. It sure is a high-end hotel. Ok now, I'm going to kick back and relax here today. This hotel has a lounge and they told me that I can go in there. So I'm going to take a look at it now. The third floor has a lounge and patio, also retreat room and fitness room. All the guests can use this lounge, which looks very nice. They've got a variety of sofas and chairs, and I see a nice big table in the back, where you can do your work. 
also a drink bar with many choices, a red and white wine server, a black tea, some snacks are served. The shelf in the back has many kinds of soft drinks. These are all free of charge. Isn't that great? Soft drinks, red and white wines are free, but they also have a menu for some alcohol beverages and light meals that you pay for. You can go outside to the patio, something like a courtyard, where you can relax. I wonder the kids used to play or hang out here when this was a school. On the right of the lounge, it says retreat room. I'm heading there. Now I am in the main building here on this side, and that side is called schoolhouse wing. From here, the main building is on the right, and schoolhouse on the left. I can see the ground in the middle. Wow, look at this. It sure looks like a hallway of the school, with its ceiling. Oh yes, this is exactly what the school stairs look like. Look at the windows in the yard behind it. You can tell this was a school. I would like to stay in this building too. There are guest rooms here, and some of them seem luxurious. Okay, this is retreat room, which I saw the sign. They have a room here where the school taught morals and manners to students. Gosh, the room's big, about 60 tatami mats wide. It's very quiet here. People are allowed to use this space as long as they are staying at the hotel. You come here and sit on your knees quietly and be at peace with yourself. I must say the room with traditional Japanese style is serene and calming. This side is Japanese tatami mat and the school hallway is on this side. I see the lounge and patio out the window. You know, some schools have a courtyard like this. They do have a fitness room in the hotel. With towels and mineral water available. Now I am back in the center courtyard again. The first floor of the main building is a commercial complex. The commercial area I showed you at the beginning of this video is one from the first floor of a schoolhouse over there. The shop says Manhattan Roll Ice Cream. It's an ice cream shop. Next to the hotel, there is Shun Sui Tan, a famous shop in Taiwan, where tapioca milk tea is originated. You can find all these shops on the first floor of the hotel building. Oh, there is a lemonade store too. I got out of the hotel, and now I'm walking Nishiki Koji Street in Kawaramachi. It's good to have tourist spots nearby. I checked in the hotel quite early, a little afternoon, and I haven't had lunch yet. It'll be my late lunch. I guess the number of tourists went down due to coronavirus. This is mid-November. The last time I visited here, the street was packed with people and had a hard time walking through the crowd. Compared to that, there are fewer people today, but I see some. Maybe tourists are coming back gradually. Okay, so I'm going to eat lunch at this restaurant called Obuya near Nishiki Market. They serve a variety of chazuke, a bowl of rice with sashimi toppings for dashi soup. I ordered salmon and mentaiko, a seasoned cut roll. I made a video reviewing gourmet in Kyoto, so please check it out. It was mid-November when I stayed at this hotel, a little before when the leaves would turn all red. I visited different places to enjoy colorful leaves. I also made another video showing beautiful colored leaves. Please visit my video if you're interested. After visiting tourist spots in Kyoto, I am back to the hotel. The building looks different with lights in the dark at night. 
Now I am back in my hotel room. It's 5:30 p.m. now, and I'm meeting my friend for dinner at 7 p.m. I have some time before my dinner, so I think I'm going to the lounge. This is a lounge at night. I don't see anyone. I wonder if everyone is out to dinner, or maybe few guests today. I don't know. I had this wonderful lounge all to myself, drinking juice. There was a table where you can work on your computer. People can also come and stay here for vacation. They have a fire in the central courtyard after dark. It feels very relaxing. I rested for a while at the lounge, so now I'm off to dinner. This hotel does not have a room service, but it won't be any problem as there are many restaurants and bars nearby. I will have dinner at a famous restaurant, Kyogoku Kaneo, about five minute walk from the hotel. I have their popular dish, Kinshi Donbo, underneath this thick Japanese style omelet, barbecued eel on the top of rice. I also have a detailed review on this. Okay, now I've returned to my room again. On the way back, I saw the name of this hotel, the Gate Hotel Kyoto Takasegawa by Hulik. I wondered what Hulik means, so I googled it. It says Hulik is a real estate company which runs investment development project for the estate owner. This company is also handling hotel business. They opened the first Gate Hotel in Asakusa in 2012, opened another one in Ginza 2018, and they opened hotels in Kyoto and Ryogoku in 2020. Altogether, there are four hotels called the Gate Hotel in Japan, three hotels in Tokyo, and one in Kyoto. They are relatively new hotel brand chain. It seems they expand their business, and we will have more of the Gate Hotels throughout Japan. Okay, so it's past 11 p.m. Time for me to turn in. I'm going to take a nice, relaxing bath before going to bed. They've got a nightwear, a pajama type. Let me check the water pressure. Oh, great! Water pressure checked. I get to take a shower coming down from the top too. This looks perfect. I just took a bath now. I really like the hotel with a nice bathtub. It's very relaxing. Their aroma door dazzling tea immediately smells nice. I am relaxed and content. The pajama feels great too. I bet I will sleep tight tonight. Okay, good night. Hello again. The bed was really comfortable. I liked the firm mattress and the nice comfort. I was wrapped around it and had a very sound sleep. It was really nice. Okay, time for breakfast. Here is the restaurant on the eighth floor where they serve breakfast. These are their menus. They have egg Benedict, French toast, or Japanese dish. Okay, let's go in. Okay, now I'm seated at the table with a nice view of Kyoto. Well, it's the same view from my room. This is a menu which I just saw. We have the choice of Western dish, and as for Japanese dish, they only serve 30 customers per day. Luckily, now it's past 9 a.m. on weekday. So they have some left. I am having Japanese dish. Here they come. Well, so many varieties. Now I feel I am in Kyoto. What's surprising is that if you lift up the dish, look, you can read about the food. Little explanation for each dish. Usually, Japanese dish has too many little dishes. We don't know much about what kind of food they are and how they are cooked. But with this, we can learn the details about each food. This is fun. We can all enjoy breakfast. Look at the view out the window. The blind screen was closed before, but now it's all open. Great view.
I just said that the view from the restaurant is the same as from my room, but actually it looks nicer from up here than my floor. They also give us freshly squeezed orange juice. It tasted amazing. About the breakfast, all these kinds of food, with very high quality each, very nutritious, and above all, everything tasted so good. I strongly recommend this breakfast if you get a chance. Such a full rich breakfast made me very happy to start the day. They also have these wonderful seats in the terrace deck. These green plants have lighting underneath, which is cool. Beautiful sofas in grey. And here they are. You can enjoy the grand view of Kyoto. This terrace deck is very nice, of course when it's not too cold or too hot. This is a great place to relax. I just had one of the best breakfasts. Each food, each dish was meticulously prepared. I haven't had such a one for breakfast for a long time. From the 8th floor, where the restaurant was, I could enjoy the grand view. Ok, now it's almost time to check out. The Gate Hotel Kyoto, Takasegawa by Hyolik, just opened in 2020, a brand new, with a Japanese modern taste, has great facilities. They made my stay more than I could ever hope for. Like I said before, there used to be a school building. This main building does not have a trace of school building so much, but schoolhouse wing really still had an atmosphere, which makes me feel that I'm at school, such as their cases, a big tatami room together up. It was really interesting. The location of the hotel is also pretty good. Kawaracho has many tourist spots. Great stay at the hotel. Great time for sightseeing. You can have both. I recommend that you choose this hotel for your visit to Kyoto. Okay, this is all for today's video. If you find it informative or interesting, please push the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will continue making travel videos, so I hope you will check them also. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in my next videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and smash the like button. Also, click the little bell icon so that you will get notified of the next video that I publish. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And see you on the next video.